What's up guys? So a lot of you are coming to myself asking for pieces of advice about life which I don't understand. I mean, I don't know if you realize, but you're asking pieces of advice to someone who's 27 years old, who lives alone with a cat and makes YouTube video as his major hobby. If you do realize that, that's fine by me. And the most common pieces of advice that you guys asked myself is, how do I know if he or she likes me? Well, that's easy, they don't. Okay, now that's done. That was the quickest video of all my channel. You know what, even though your crush will never like you and that you will end up forever alone, my pleasure, I'm going to make this video because even though there are billions of videos about this topic on YouTube, 99.9% of them are BS. Not that mine will be better, but I mean in the sea of BS videos, one more or less, that doesn't make much of a difference. So why not doing it? And at least mine will be science-backed. So, how to say if he or she does like you? I hope you'll enjoy! And yes, I said he or she because, hey, guess what? We're all humans, which means that our basic behaviors are exactly the same. Science, b So, number one, the way he or she is looking at you. Note that I say the way the person is looking at you, because if he or she is looking at you, that means <laughs> nothing. Oh my cucumber, he looked at me. He must be in love. Mais va te faire un cul. The fact that a person is looking at you doesn't mean anything. I mean, it can be for absolutely everything. It can be just that you're in front of them. Or that you're just where the person wants to look at. Or that you have a cool outfit. Or that you're just ugly. Also, because yes, girls and guys are doing that, not only guys, that might just be that they find you attractive. Not in the most religious kind of way. And I see you coming with your but earnest when our eyes locked. It was so meaningful. F you! That doesn't mean anything because guess what? <laughs> There's nothing as captivating as eyes. So when their eyes locked with yours, that just means that they are looking at your eyes. So how could you know? Through the look, I mean. Well, depending on the way they are looking at you. When you're into someone, you will look at their face. Not the eyes, but the face. And that happens because, well, thanks to society, everyone believes that by looking into their eyes, they will know that you're into them. Most people don't want you to know that they are into you because they are shy, or that they are afraid of being rejected because Society, yeah! <laughs> so instead of watching your eyes, they will watch your face. And not your body, obviously. Because that would be lust, not love. And that works for both guys and girls. And if you find a girl who's telling you, no, absolutely not, she's lying. So as I said, the number one is that they are looking at your face and not your eyes. Like 99.9% .9 of the videos are telling you, yeah. Our eyes locked. No. Of course, that alone can also mean that you have something into your teeth. Or oh, that, I'm sorry to break it to you, but uh, you're ugly. <laughs> Number two, his or her tone slash speech changes when they are talking to you. And that works for everyone. Boys, girls, hermaphrodites, giant andromorphs. And I lost 99.9% .9 of you at giant andromorphs. That just means hermaphrodites, like snails. I wanted to brag, that's it. But Ernest, you're not talking about agendas and- Yes, I know! Here, we're talking about sexual organs, not genders. Your gender is your choice. That changes nothing about science. Now that this is settled, every single person on Earth will have their peach tone pace that will change when they will talk to someone they like. And everywhere you will find... Yeah, they will take a deeper voice because it sounds sexier. Nah, BS! It depends on each individual. Some will speak faster. Some will speak slower. Some will have a deeper voice. And others are really high pitch! That really depends on each individual. I can't stress that enough. The only thing that is true is that the way they will talk to you will be different from the way they will talk to their friends. 
Okay, number three, that will mimic yourself. That will mimic yourself. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please stop that. Please stop that. <laughs> Yes, so not this way. That will unconsciously mimic yourself. Meaning that you cross your legs, they will probably cross this. You're doing that, they will probably do that, etc, etc. Why are we doing that? Because we're stupid. No, more seriously, that's the way our brain is encoded. Our brain makes us like more the things that are similar to ourselves. Just like it will be easier to bond with someone you have common interests with, it's easier to bond with someone who's acting similarly to the way you are acting. So unconsciously, when you like someone or that you want to be liked by someone, you will tend to mimic the way this person acts. But it's just on the little details, because as I told you, they are not even aware that they are doing that. It's completely unconscious. Boom! Science! Yes! Number four, they will slow down or fast up to fit with your walking pace. When we're with friends, we tend to don't give a crap. Now, when we're with friends, we tend to meet halfway. But when you're with someone that you like, you tend to adapt your pace to fit with theirs. But Ernest, what about if we both like each other's? We will try to adapt each other and meet halfway. It's like being friends. Hey! Yeah, that's the catch. So how to know? Well, now that you're aware of that, just be an asshole and don't adapt to their pace to see if they are doing it to yours. That's it! Number five, they are always facing you. And boom, science! Once again, it's purely unconscious. It is natural. When you like someone, you tend to turn to the person to face her, feet first, and generally the body follows. For example, if you're with a group of friends and you are saying a joke, the first person you will turn to is either your best friend or the person you want to impress because you want to catch their emotions first. So if he or she is most of the time facing you or looking at you after making an amazing and most of the time terrible joke, laugh and be like, yeah, that was a good one. And that's going to be it for this video, but I'm going to give you one more piece of advice, an amazing one. If you really want to know if someone is into you, just go and ask. Putain! And this is the end of how to know if he or she is really into you. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on all my social medias because there, I will not give you more pieces of advice like these ones because hey, I'm crap at life. You can also support me on Patreon because I like money. And no matter what happens, I will see you in my next video. Have an amazing, wonderful day. Don't forget to smile and bye-bye.